Hi guys, let me show you how to use the statistics and dynamics made easy app, um, which you can get at tiinspireapps.com. Remember, this app only runs on handheld calculators, not on computers. So let's take a look at the menu. Um, let me first give you an overview. So we're going to start off with statics, of course, and then we uh, have forces and particle equilibrium here for you, uh, resultants of concurrent and parallel force systems, um, another force system non for non-concurrent uh, force system. Um, we also have sections here uh, for you to read, to look up formulas, to look up definitions. Okay, let me show you here. We have formulas for force equilibrium definition right there for you as well. Of course, mostly there's computations in this app. Um, we also have, of course, anything related to vectors for you and also a bunch of trigonometric functions that are very useful when dealing with statics. Uh, friction, centroids of composite figures of um, common geometric shapes, um, center of mass, right, moments, force mass, um, radius of gyration, moments of inertia, common shapes, and then last but not least, we have dynamics for you, kinematics and projectile motion. Projectile at an angle, and then we have here linear motion, we have Newton's laws, torque, the big five equations, and everything pertaining to kinematics. All right, so let me give you some ideas of um, how to use this app, resultant of coplanar force system. So you're going to enter the f-axis and the f-y's right here. Down on the bottom box, you always see instructions or which, which formulas are being used. And then all you need to do is you just need to modify the pre-loaded um, numbers. You change them based on how uh, the problem is. And then you can see immediately at the bottom, you can see the answers. Notice if I change a value, all the answers change right away, one time. No need to press enter or anything. Okay, let's continue a little bit. Vectors, you can read about vectors, or uh, you can perform computations. You can enter two two-dimensional vectors here, V and W, and then it gives you all the information here about these two vectors, such as their length, their angle to the x-axis, their dot product, and also their angle their angle between the two vectors, which is computed here. Again, if we change um, the value here, then you can see that everything changes and we see that these two vectors are, of course, a, a linear combination. The second one is a, twice the first, so of course the angles are the same. And uh, since the angles are the same, the angles between the vectors, of course, is zero. All right, let me show you some more trigonometric functions. In particular, SAS is important, where two sides are given and an angle. Same as before. We just enter our values here. OK. OK, I'm going to make it smaller, just uh, a little bit large, but no worries. By the time you use it, it's going to work. And let me continue. We, of course, have friction. OK, a friction formula. Say you have a standard formula here, and you leave exactly one box blank. Well, that n is going to be an L real soon. Right, if I change, uh, if I leave the first box for F blank, then I get the uh, force solved for if, however, the force is given and I would like to find this uh, coefficient mu, then 
I find it one time. Right, I change a value on top, it, it changes the answer right away. That's how it's supposed to work, and it does. Centroids. Okay, so there's a lot of centroids that can be computed here. Let's look at some common geometric shapes, rectangles. So we incorporate some images for you of the common shapes and you just have to enter the requested values here the B and D values and immediately you find the area and the centroid coordinates very straightforward okay and let me lastly give you an example about uh, dynamics well projectile at an angle um, again on the bottom you can read um, what equations are used and what is what. So let's say we're going to change our initial velocity to 4.35 and then we scroll up, see the equations that determine the position mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, and we can see all our answers here. Projectile lens at time t equals 1, the range, everything is uh, given. And of course you can have an initial height, which is optional, let's say, if you start off at 10 meters. All right, so this app, Statics and Dynamics Made Easy, available at tiinspireapps.com. If you guys have any more suggestions of what to be added to this ad, please let us know. And uh, this app and many more apps available at tnspyapps.com. Thanks for watching.